Just a click away is yesterday's news. In just a few easy steps, we'll have you speaking the best and latest entertainment options into existence with your new Fission voice remote. Before we get started, let's make sure you're pairing your new voice remote with the right equipment. This new Fission voice remote is only compatible with a Bluetooth enabled set top box, which you can identify by looking for a Bluetooth symbol on the front of your set top box. Once you've verified your equipment is compatible, it's time to get started. Before you insert batteries into your new voice remote, make sure that you power off any other Bluetooth enabled set top boxes to prevent your remote from pairing with the wrong device. Press the down arrow navigation key slowly several times while aiming the remote at the set top box. You will see a red LED light up towards the top of the remote. Once the LED turns green, the set top box and the remote are successfully paired. Once paired, the Bluetooth LED will light up blue on the set top box. Your Bluetooth remote should now work with your new set top box. After pairing the remote to your set top box, you'll next need to pair it to your television. First, make sure your TV is powered on and press the menu button on your Fission Voice remote. Scroll down until you see settings. Click that, then select remote control followed by TV pairing. You can begin your IR setup by selecting the start prompt. Make sure that the volume, power, and input button boxes are selected. Then select configure. Your TV make and model should automatically be recognized. But if not, you can select the TV manufacturer from this screen. Just start typing in the name and the relevant selections will appear for you to select. If the manufacturer still doesn't appear, select Don't Know Model Name on the left side of the screen. Next, select Start Testing to program the IR command to control your television. Follow the on-screen instructions, then press Mute on your remote. If the Mute feature is working, select Yes. If not, select Try Next Signal and follow the prompts on screen. Keep repeating this step until the test succeeds. You should then get a confirmation that your television has successfully paired with your Fission voice remote. You can now select Finish. Now that your new remote is set up, let's activate the voice controls. Press the menu button on your remote. Navigate to the help menu and press OK. Navigate to the voice controls option and press OK. Press OK to begin voice control activation or reactivation. Press OK again to activate or reactivate voice commands. Follow the on-screen prompts to restart your box. After a few moments, your box will be ready to go. To check that voice controls were activated successfully, press a voice command button and say On Demand, which should take you to the On Demand menu. For a full list of commands, visit GetHotWired.com and under the Support tab, select Television. Congratulations! Your new Fission set-top box is now paired to your voice remote. Enjoy the freedom of wireless connectivity with Fission TV.